questioning now begins, and we, our first questioner is MP Bossio. Um, thank you so much, Minister, for, for being here today. Um, I think we all celebrate the historic investments uh, that are being made uh, for Indigenous communities. It is going to make uh, such a significant improvement in, in so many lives uh, for Indigenous people across this country. Um, my my uh, first question goes towards uh, a local issue for my own Indigenous community, the Mohawks of the Bay of Quinney. Uh, they're, they're one of the largest uh, reserves uh, in the country. Uh, and, and some of the concerns that they have uh, revolve around uh, recognizing the needs of um, reserves from the larger reserves and ones in the, in the southern uh, part of the country because, uh, you know, their needs are also great. Uh, and the perception that they feel sometimes happen is that, um, you know, because they are uh, in, in the south and they're located close by urban areas, uh, wealthier areas, uh, that there's a perception that, that they're also wealthy and therefore uh, can take care of themselves uh, to a great extent. And, and in my community, uh, last summer, 40% uh, of their wells went dry. Uh, and uh, most of the, the reserve is, is on goody wells, uh, and so therefore they're under bottle, uh, uh, boiled water advisories. And, and last, uh, last summer in particular, they were waiting uh, upwards of, of a week and more sometimes for tankers to come to bring water uh, to their, to their uh, uh, tanks uh, because uh, of the overwhelming need that they have. Uh, so so I, I, I guess, um, you know, I'd like to ask the minister, you know, how do we ensure that, that uh, you know, yes, we, need, you know, the, we recognize that the massive need that exists in the north is, 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 is very powerful uh, and the message has gotten through very clearly. Uh, you know, can the minister ensure that the southern ridings are also going to, to receive uh, the kind of attention that they need for their own water and infrastructure needs? Thanks very much. I, I think that's a really important question because the perception for people um, in various communities is reality and that and we need to make sure that people understand that that in in a situation like the um, the the water situation in in Tadanega or the Mohawks of the Bay of Quinte that that we have we are moving on all water systems across the country and and not only that we inherited um, a, a, a a huge deficit in terms of the water systems and wastewater systems. Um, but as we've committed to lift all boil water advisories, that means that we're not only working on the on the communities with boil water advisories, we are also working on all the communities, all of them, um, that have medium or high risk systems that could tip up into a boil water advisory. So it means we're we're trying to get all systems across this country down into low risk. And so that that is happening at Mohawk, uh, uh, the Bay of Quinte, with, with we have list, lifted all the boil water advisories for which our department has direct responsibility. There are private um, systems that that you know we uh, are concerned about. We will work with um, the community on, but it it is a, it is a matter of going forward. Um, the other the flip side of that, Mike, is that. Um, is that sometimes um, it is the the larger and um, sometimes southern communities, but the communities with more capacity, that are much better able um, to do um, the project funding proposal driven uh, um, and and get the money for those. So even on housing, we found that that we had to do it in three tranches so that we could build up the capacity of the most needy communities, because otherwise the money was all gone by the proposals sent in from the communities who have the most capacity to fill out the proposals. So it's it's a bit of, of both, because um, I think in the North, they would say, how come these communities that have, have better capacity are gobbling up all the the funds uh, and so um, you know I think we're trying to show that we're trying to be very fair about this needs based in in a way but uh, but we we really do have a tr direct responsibility to the to the larger urban communities or closer um, southern communities the less remote um, at, uh, absolutely 
Well, thank you very much, Minister. I, I know that uh, the Mohawks of Bay Aconi will be happy to hear that you say that, yeah, their, their concerns are being heard. 